Hi, today I'm going to show you how to create a batch directory that will allow you to, when you right click on a folder, create a text file that output that contains all the files listed in that folder and its subdirectories. It's handy for creating a text file to email or send to people of a music list or a book list or whatever files you uh, have in a download directory or whatnot. Right, the first thing you want to do is open Notepad or your favorite text editor and for the first line you enter at sign echo off. What that will do is we'll prevent this batch file from outputting anything to a command console cluttering up your screen at all. The next line is the meat of the batch file at sign dir percent one and then slash capital A which will cause the batch file to list any hidden files or folders and then slash capital S which will have it look in any subdirectories. We're going to direct this output to a file that will be created by this batch file. I already have it saved. Put it in my uh, documents folder. We're going to call it dirlist.txt. Alright. The next step the next line will open the file you just created with its output for you to look at with the command at notepad and then you list the file you just created and the path to it and then we're going to delete it so we don't have any clutter there and I'll talk about that a little bit here in a second we'll save that to the desktop you want to click on all files so you can save it as a batch file All right, so you will name this dirlist.bat. The bat is important. Dot bat is important. It, without it, it is not a batch file and won't work. And there it is on our desktop. I'll minimize that. Now, for this to work correctly, you need to put it in the send to directory, which shows up on your uh, context menu in Vista. So you type shell colon send to. When you hit Windows key R and then type shell colon win, uh, send to. Hit enter and it'll open up that folder. Drag and drop that in there and we'll shut that. And I'll open up. I'm going to do a listing of my downloads folder since I don't have any music on this computer. You right click on the downloads folder, click send to and there's your list. And there's your output. All right. Now this file will be deleted when you close this window. So if you want to keep this list, you have to f save as and save it to uh, as another name in your documents folder or save it somewhere else. Now to show you that it's not quite this ugly, I'll lower the font and it looks like your typical command line output with your name file over here and your timestamps and dates over here. And that's all there is to it.